Sag is, and Sag energy is very spiritual, very much focused on the why. You know, why are we here? Why did I do that? Why this? Why that? Why everything? Again, just like Gemini. <laughs> but Sag goes about it in a much more fiery right brain instead of Gemini and left brain type way. You know, they're willing to... So is Gemini, but Sag takes it to an art form. <laughs> they're willing to go out and go on adventures and explore and just, you know, just see what happens, see where the road takes them. And, and totally be cool with it all along the way. You know, and adjust when needing to adjust and just being open to whatever may come their way. Sages are those with heavy Sag energy. I really recommend you meditate. Damn, I mean, meditating in general is wonderful for Sag, but specifically, yeah. For a Sag, it'd be great to meditate after doing something <clears throat> adventuresome exploring, you know? Who knows? I mean, going for a hike up a mountain, meditating at the top. I've done that, actually. A lot of fun. A lot of fun. My Sag energy was pleased. Very, uh, it was very insightful, very rich experience. I really loved it. But, I mean, you know, every experience in life is an adventure. So going out with friends, coming back and meditating for even a couple minutes... Whatever. I mean, performing, reading a book is an exploration. Whatever you, with your Sag energy, like to explore, I really recommend meditating. Maybe before, too. Meditating before is a wonderful way to, like, set intention and figure out where you want to go, why, etc. But meditating afterwards is... I would really recommend. Because so much more, infinitely more than you could possibly imagine... Would you would you understand? Would you come to understand about life and yourself and meditation for Sag is a wonderful thing. Medical astrology. Sag rules the butt and the thighs. Is that it? I think so. Butt and thighs. So if you have Sag energy. Um, this speaks to the uh, abundance of Jupiter. Um, be careful of, of overeating, uh, or rather be careful. Just have in mind that overeating with Sag energy tends to go to the butt and the thighs. Well, that's wonderful to have a donk. <laughs> um, this is something to keep in mind. And, uh, I will say this, as a Gemini, um, Gemini's being the partner sign of Sag, and I'll explain what that means in another video more in depth, but basically partner signs are, are chemistry, true love, you know, energies igniting, and very similar and yet very different, you know, and so there's a, a lovely exchange happening, a beautiful exchange. Uh, so yeah, again, as a Gemini, uh, Sag butts are always appreciated. <laughs> That's probably the best way to put it. Um, so, you know, if you're Sag and got a little junk in the trunk, don't worry. <laughs> there's, there's a Gemini out there that appreciates you. <laughs> so, um, let's see. Great philosophers, metaphysicians, uh, exploring past lives, exploring anything metaphysical. Tarot, oh my god, Sagas are wonderful at tarot. Absolutely, they just they get it automatically. Um, runes, you know, uh, anything related to understanding through a spiritual way, understanding through a fire way, you know, because in Entero, you're, you're really delving in to the energies with the cards. You're really embracing your own, when you're reading tarot for somebody else, for other people, uh, whatever, you're really embracing your own fire, your own power, you know, and your own Sag energy, at least in part. And those with Sag energy, is, do this stuff, this is excellent, you'll love it. Tarot. Um, Astrology is a bit more 
air, I would say. Um, but you would still love it. Maybe not as much as tarot, but um, still a wonderful pursuit of knowledge and self-enrichment and exploration and self-knowing. I definitely would recommend astrology over not astrology, so that's something. Um, oh, so you're doing really well so far. Hey, all right. <laughs> um, let me think if there's anything else. Ah, a lot of sad drummers. A lot of really famous sad drummers out there. Uh, Trey Cool from Green Day. Uh, John Densmore from uh, The Doors. Uh, Dom Howard from Muse. Excellent drummers. Awesome drummers, some of my favorites. Oh, there's more, but... Uh, I think Keith Moon had... M Keith Moon had some sad drummers. I don't remember. But, uh, there's, there's a lot of them, which makes sense. Partner sign Gemini and Gem, Gemini and drummers. But that's a whole other, whole other video. Um, so yeah, best advice for Sag, adventure, explore. And you already feel this in your being, in your blood, your bones. But adventure, explore, find out why and how you're exploring. Find out everything and anything you want to know about yourself, life, love, the universe, souls, anything. You know, just never, never limit yourself. Always go above and beyond in exploring. You know, um, religion is a really big sad thing because of the spiritual aspect. But and it's it's always a shame to me. I find when a, a sage, and this is, happens quite often, lower level sage, is um, adherence to dogma, adherence to religious, you know, closed mindedness. This is the only way. You know, narrow mindedness. It's, it sucks because it's. Sages, everyone can do so much better and so much more. But Sages especially, if they explore all the different spiritual systems and everything that's out there, you know, and they can... In fact, I know Sages that have tied together the best bits that works for them, from Judaism, from Islam, to Christianity, to paganism, to whatever, you know, everything. So as a Sag, that's my biggest advice to you, is explore. In whatever capacity, mentally, emotionally, whatever... Explore and find out why you're exploring. I think you'll find a very surprising answer. Something that's very enriching for you. Infinitely. I feel like I've forgotten something, but if I remember, I will do another video for you. And I will put it up. Can't think of what it is. Eh, what else? In any case. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Infinite love, as always. Namaste. Hmm. Explore. Go explore. Okay, I'm gonna go explore. Bye. Much love. Infinite love. Until next time, take care. Whoa, oh, oh.